as a visitor, you might well enter the Norwegian Fisheries Museum by sea. The museum is situated in the largest harbour for vintage boats in Norway. Here, centuries-old wooden wharf houses have been restored. This type of wharf house covered the seafront in Sandviken, north of the city centre of Bergen, until the 1930s. Stockfish was stored here. Dried cod from Lofoten in northern Norway. Now, these wharf houses are the home of our museum. Visitors can wander, paddle, row or in swim around in the history of Norwegian fisheries and coastal culture. The wharf houses have been restored by the Bergen municipality. The buildings are symbols of Bergen as a trade center, the biggest city in the Nordic countries in the 60th century and the capital of sea trade through centuries. Inside, stockfish and other goods waited for new owners. In the 19th century, there were more than 800 wooden wharf houses in Bergen. In Sandviken, they were built on pilings over water, and many of them could be reached by boat only. They are three or four floor notch timber buildings, standing for centuries, but skewed and still in motion. Inside the wharf houses, we tell about the adventurous fisheries in Norway. The resources in the sea along the second longest coastline in the world, and how they have been utilized, both industrially and through the specifically Norwegian massive small-scale fisheries, from thousands of small wooden boats that were rowed and sailed. The museum also houses a restaurant where the guests can enjoy the wharf house feeling. The neighbor is the Bergen Center for Coastal Culture, where volunteers work with tradition, vintage boats, engines, forging, and much more. A few minutes walk away is Stureblå Aquaculture Visitor Center, showing the biggest and most rapidly growing trade within the fisheries, aquaculture. Stureblå, which translates Big Blue, offers an exhibition that shows aquaculture in a global perspective. Stureblå is a cooperation between the museum and the seafood company Lerøy. It has a focus on sustainability, as aquaculture represents big challenges to the environment. In the dissection laboratory, pupils can explore the inside of salmon or other fish, guided by our educators. And they can go to a nearby aquaculture farm to see how the salmon live in sea cages, how they are fed, and what industry has been built around them. Maybe they would like to work in this industry. Maybe they are concerned about the environment and want to take a closer look at this trade. Or maybe they want to know about the fish they had for dinner yesterday. At the museum, children can play their way through salmon production in a virtual seafood town, Finn City. And through activities, learn about the enormous resources and adventures along the Norwegian coast. Established in 1880, the Norwegian Fisheries Museum is one of the oldest museums in Bergen. Its collections started with items from an international fisheries exhibition in 1865 that showed the status and the promising future of international fisheries. Today, we look both to the past and to the future. Forging nails, making ropes and producing salmon are all essential to life along the Norwegian coast. The history of fisheries is a lesson in sustainability, maybe the most essential that we can bring into the future. <laughs>